So let's talk about stages of sleep. Uh, so the first thing uh, to remember are all the waves which are seen in the sleep. For that you need to remember the mnemonic bath KD. For this B A is there in awake stage. B stands for beta waves. A stands for alpha waves. T is there in stage one. This you can remember as one is written as this and T is written as this. So T can be made into one. So T stands for theta waves. The next stage is stage two. Stage two constitutes majority of the sleep which is 45 percent and it has sk in it now s stands for sleep spindles while k stands for k complexes next is stage three and four which is uh having the delta waves now delta d d for delta d for deep so remember stage three and four constitutes the deepest part of the sleep and has delta waves then last part which is a rapid eye movement sleep it uh consists of the sawtooth pattern. It also has beta, alpha and theta waves but the majority of it is a sawtooth pattern. Coming to the disorders which are seen in sleep, before that we will come to what is this active mental concentration and relax with eyes closed. So now beta is basically a B is like this. So that means the eyes are open. This is a B and this means eyes are open. Whereas an alpha, a person who is an alpha male will be relaxed but the eyes are going to be closed. So we spoke about beta and we spoke about alpha. Coming to the disorders, now coming to bruxism. Now bruxism is commonly, most commonly seen in stage two, but can be seen in re stage one as well as REM, but uh, most commonly seen in stage two. So this you can remember as this, whereas the frontal lobe epilepsy is also seen most commonly in stage two. Coming to stage three and four disorders, you have to remember World War Three. So three stands for stage three uh, and four are together only. So W stands for wet, walk and war. Now wet, walk, wet stands for nocturnal enuresis. Walk stands for some ambulism, which is sleepwalking. And war stands for like terrorism and terrorism is night terrors. Now remember, you don't want to remember the terrors. So there will be no memory of this. As opposed to which is REM sleep may you have to remember dream sexy. Now dream stands for uh, your nightmares and you we always wake up feeling and remembering our nightmares. So remember you have a memory of nightmares and sexy stands for all you know like those uh, funny dreams that come uh, which will stimulate the penile or the clitoris so that you get an erection. Now when you're dreaming sexy one thing to remember is that you will have increased pulse, you will have increased respiration and blood pressure. But at the same time, there won't be any skeletal muscle movement. And last but not the least is narcolepsy, which is increased sleep. So a person who has a lot of sleep uh, will have a lot of dreams as well. So you can remember that dreams is seen in REM and narcolepsy is a lot of sleep. So you have narcolepsy, which is a disorder of the REM sleep. There is something called sleep talking, but sleep talking is seen in all the stages of sleep. So we spoke about sleep talking, bruxism, frontal lobe epilepsy, then you have the nocturnal enuresis, sleep walking and night terrors, nightmares and you have your erections as well as narcolepsy. Now coming to narcolepsy, narcolepsy is some sort of a disorder where there is decrease in the hypocretin levels and there is a tetrad which is a very important tetrad which is seen in narcolepsy. One is cataplexy sleep paralysis and increased daytime sleepiness so this is important catalepsy cataplexy rather plexi is seen when there is sudden loss of all the muscle power and sleep paralysis is also seen and there's increased daytime sleepiness there's also some sort of hallucination which has hypogonic and hypo hypnopompic now these are the uh, hallucination which you see either before just before going to sleep or just after waking up so these are the hallucinations that you see. So you have cataplexy, sleep paralysis, increased daytime, uh, sleepiness and hallucinations. Remember narcolepsy, may you see cataplexy, not catalepsy. Catalepsy is something else. Narcolepsy, may you see cataplexy, so it's opposite. And you have the treatment which is modafinil, mainly it is used, which is alpha 1 receptor agonist.